जय गुरुदेव जय माता दी हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल आज के दिन के लिए आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है पावरफुल तिथि हो इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आज आने के लिए और पधारने के लिए टुडे द स्पीकर फॉर आर डे इज यान एंड द सब्जेक्ट दैट शी हैज चोजन टू स्पीक अबाउट इज एम्ब्रेस योर सेल्फ एंड लव वन सेल्फ हम सबको मिलके इस चीज को एक्सेप्ट करना होगा कि हम सब स्वयं हमारे जीवन में कैसे हैं हम सब स्वयं अपना हमारे जीवन में कैसे हैं सो यासवीन इज एन आउटस्टैंडिंग आउटस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट शी इज परस्यूइंग फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड एंड शी इज इन द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन शी हैज अ स्कूल दैट इज रैंक्ड फॉर Uh, top 100 in the country uh, there are many students she caters to and helps and educates all of them so it has been a wonderful person knowing yasween in our life and it's amazing to know her of who she is very enthusiastic full of life and a girl who takes self responsibility i think this is something that we all can learn from her you will see she is so cheerful all the time and she will radiate that energy to you so i would Good morning, everybody. Jai Guru Dev. Thank you so much, Priya Di, for such lovely words. I am more than excited now to start my session. Once again, good morning. I see so many familiar faces already. So, to everybody who's joined us live on the SBA website, there is a icon over there, a small red color eye. If you go and click that icon, you will directly join into the Zoom meeting where this is happening right now. and because it's a two way communication i request all of you to quickly join in the zoom meeting and let's quickly start hello everybody it's so good to see you all in the morning such beautiful smiles i am very excited for this session now let's let's quickly get started all right welcome to today's session and today's session is all about self love that is embracing yourself and loving oneself everybody is aware of um, everybody is already aware of this right all right just a moment apologies okay i hope my screen is visible to all of you all right let's get started okay so today we'll talk about what is self love how to embrace yourself how you love yourself correct now let's quickly begin self love 
So when we often talk to people and when you ask them, what is self-love? The simple answer is loving yourself. When you often talk to people, correct? And when you ask now, them, what is if you all could answer and tell me, the simple answer what does loving oneself loving really yourself. mean? Talk to people, what correct? do you mean by loving now, yourself? What is if you all could answer and tell me, a lot me, of answers in the chat box. What does loving oneself loving about? Yourself. What do you mean by self-love? What, do you mean what by my question yourself. now to all of you is, if and you if you could reply in the chat box, a lot of answers in the chat box. What does loving, what does loving oneself really mean? What do you mean by that? Yes, let's quickly get our answers. Let's see. To respect yourself, right? Okay. For the kids who don't know, it's absolutely fine. I think we're going to go through the entire session. So you will know. Our affection towards someone. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So everybody... You know who Aristotle is? Everybody knows, right? So Aristotle once said that humans deep down love the self more than their favorite ones around. Our friends, our families, our loved ones, right? So deep down we humans, deep down we humans already love ourselves more than we love anybody around us. The only problem here is that when you want to discover that you already love yourself, you need to remember that you love yourself. You need to unpack that love which is there in your body and you need to believe because you already love yourself. It's just about remembering, unpacking it from yourself and then believing in it. Whenever we ask people, you know what self-love is? Do you love yourself? They often say, yeah, we love ourselves. And, and what kind of a question is this? Right? People have their noses all scrunched up and they say, yeah, it's so, it's so cheesy, you know? Like self-love, yeah, of course we love ourselves. Right? But learning to love yourself is one of the most powerful and important things you can do in life. Right? Your heart is, your heart is your power. When you become the source of love in your life, it changes everything around you. It changes your relationship with your friends, with your family. It changes your career. It changes your goal. It, it improves concentration. You know what your goal is. You become focused. It improves your health. You change your health. All of this flourishes when you start to love yourself. Self-love may take a lot of forms. When we usually talk about self-love, what do we talk about? We say, oh, you know what? When I have a really long hot shower, that is something I really love. And I think that is how I pamper myself. Sometimes people have scented candles around them and people say, oh, wow, you know, scented candles. It gives a lot of soothing effect to you. And that is how you pamper yourself. Sometimes when it's raining outside, you have a nice cup of tea in your hand. And that is how you show yourself, you know, I really love you. See, on such a nice weather, in such nice weather, I'm, I'm pampering you. Right? You treat yourself to good food, you wear good clothes, you put good makeup on, right? You go, you go and have your spa days, you go for a jog, you gym, you exercise, you do all of this. All of this is pampering yourself. But self-love isn't just about pampering yourself. Do you all agree? Is self-love only pampering yourself? Yes, everybody, I'm waiting for your answers in the comment section. Let's see what you all have to say. Yes, absolutely true. Right. Correct. So everybody says no. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, if only pampering yourself is not self-love, what is it? Is it loving ourselves? Is it being able to look into the mirror without criticizing our own body? Is loving ourselves finally feeling the content that yes, I am at this position in my life and I'm happy. Is loving yourself meaning you being able to be happy for yourself and also for the others who probably have achieved more than you? Does loving yourself involve speaking and thinking differently about ourselves? Or does it involve 
you know, um, listening to our needs that, you know, my body saying I need this and putting our needs forward. Right? Is it that? What is self-love? Self-love is this unconditional support, love, self-care, compassion you can give yourself that ultimately translates into good health, happiness, a balance, well-being in life. Right? Self-love is thus a basic necessity. People often think that we don't have time for probably say self-care. But self-love is a necessity. Correct? And why is self-love a necessity? Because a fundamental positive value that leads to your inner peace and happiness is self-love. Self-love is very, very important for your inner peace and happiness. And who doesn't want to be happy? Is there anyone here who does not want to be happy? Everybody wants to be happy. Is there anyone here who does not want to be happy? Comment section. No, absolutely. So many answers. No, nobody wants to be unhappy. Everybody wants to be happy. Correct. Now, as I said, you don't have to learn to love yourself. You just need to remember that you love yourself already. You need to unpack those feelings and you need to believe in yourself. Right? Now, now that we know what self-love is, we should also know what self-love is not. Right? Self-love is not that desperate need to be better. I want to be better than say my friend. I want to be better than my sister, my age. Correct? Self-love is not you being desperate to be better than somebody. Or when you think, oh, this person is not deserving to come first in a competition or in your class or anywhere in life. Whether that person is achieving something and is better than you, you having that desperate need to be better than that person and say things like, oh, I am more deserving than that person is not self-love. Correct? That is not self-love. If you are very selfish, if you only think about yourself all the time, it is important to think about yourself. But you should also know the difference about being about you loving yourself, self-love, and about you being selfish. There is a difference. So self-love is acceptable. You can say no to things. But being selfish is not acceptable. That is not self-love. Do you all agree to this? That being desperate, trying to be better than somebody constantly, demeaning somebody and saying, oh no, I deserve to be in your position. You do not deserve to be in that position. I have worked harder than you. Saying things like that or being selfish is not self-love. Correct? Yes, absolutely. Also, self-love is not conditional. You cannot condition self-love. Oh, if this happens, then I will love myself. Or if this person does that, then I will feel important and that is how it will you know, give me a lot of pleasure and happiness and that is what self-love is. It is not dependent on the desired outcome. Self-love is something that is within you. It is not conditional to a certain desired outcome. Right? So this is what self-love is not. Now, what true self-love is? Self-love is being op open and honest. You have to be honest. You have to be open about your feelings, about the way you do things in life. You have to be open. Why hide things? There are so many times in life when you are doing something and you hide it from your friends, from your peers, from your colleagues, because you don't want them to know that you are probably studying more or you are probably appearing for a particular entrance. Why do you do that? So we were talking about what true self-love is. So as I said, it is about being open and being honest, right? True self-love is giving yourself the unconditional respect, a 
appreciation and evaluation of being great. You know you are great, but you don't have to prove this to anybody. It is for you to understand. It is for you to know, right? You know that within you and that's enough. Self-love is this commitment you give yourself to get to know yourself, to accept yourself the way you are, to fully experience life as it happens with you. You continuously seek these experiences of self-love, either physically, either psychologically, or say probably spiritually. I know probably a lot of people don't understand uh, how spiritual growth happens and how you experience it, but I'm sure you will learn through the process and as life goes forward. Right? Okay. So it's fully knowing no matter what you do or you neglect something, you do something, you do something right, you do something wrong, that you will always love yourself and be true to who you are no matter what. You can lie to people around you, but you cannot lie to yourself. And you know that when you do something, your inner self knows that, oh, you have done something like that. So probably you might lie to somebody around you, but you cannot lie to yourself. And you should never lie to yourself and also not to the others around you. But you cannot fool yourself, right? Let's come to a very important part now that we talk about. Now that we talk about true self-love, let's come to a very important part. As I said, it's in us, it's human tendency that we compare ourselves. It is very natural. So we always say, I am not enough. I probably did not study enough. That is why the, per the other person got a better rank. I did not. I could have done more. Or probably, you know, I think my mind doesn't function properly is why I couldn't study well. There are so many things that come to our mind, don't they? So many things come to your mind. Who do you most frequently compare yourself to? If you're not sure, try this question. Somebody probably you met yesterday and you're continuously thinking about it. Or probably the last time you guys checked your social media and said, oh, you know, this girl is so pretty. I want to be like this girl. Oh, I want to be able to do makeup like this girl. Oh, I want to be able to dress like this person. For all the boys, they look at these billionaire accounts and they want the cars and they want their watches and they always say, oh, you know, I also want these things. If you're still not sure, Think about all this. Repeat this question. Think about this. All these things which make you feel as if your life is paled with comparison or you feel very envious. All of this is are the times when you compare yourself. Right? You always want to try and be a better person but you end up comparing yourself with people and that leads to a series of emotions. And what emotions does that lead in? Let's check that. When you compare yourself with people, what happens? You get stuck. Isn't that right? Doesn't this heart exactly portray our emotions when we are stuck? We are suppressed, correct? The emotions that come in us, we are sad, we are stuck, we are suppressed. What is the best way to come out of it? To process it. Be processed. Think about it. if you want to compare, make it a healthy comparison. Don't make it a negative comparison. And how you can make this a healthy comparison? You need to be aware and you need to avoid all kinds of triggers. Anything that triggers you, anything you see or you hear and it tells you, oh, you know, probably the other person is better. Or say, for example, you couldn't do something. All of these triggers that you have, which trigger you, these, these series of actions that trigger you, situations that trigger you, you should avoid these. And if you cannot avoid, you should start ignoring these. Correct? Start noticing these situations that cause the entire comparison game in your mind. Is it somebody who's constantly bragging around you? Oh, you know, I have this, I have this beautiful car, I have a, I have a beautiful house, you know, I have all the A grades, I am, I'm perfect in all extracurricular activities. Is it that person who is a trigger for you? 
is that how you start comparing yourself is it that person that makes you feel very inferior about yourself or are you just going through these activities scrolling on youtube or social media or watching some series on your television and those actions these certain activities are these the ones who are driving the comparison game in your mind are you going to shopping malls and when you're not able to buy something because you already have probably enough or when probably your mom say no when your mom is like no you do not have to buy this because you have a lot probably not buying that stuff and not being able to show off in front of people is that your trigger when you drive through a beautiful neighborhood when you see these amazing beautiful houses and kids playing outside is that your trigger all of these triggers need to be avoided right how can you avoid these triggers the the first and the most important thing the only important thing how you can change the comparison game in your mind is by using comparison as a motivation to improve what actually matters to you it is very simple for all all the humans in the world to compare it's very easy to end up in the comparison game what is difficult is to use that comparison to motivate ourselves right when you motivate yourself with these comparisons they will truly make a difference in your life how they will make a difference in your life see what questions you can ask to have a really um, motivated comparison when you want to make say uh, who do you admire the most instead of comparing yourself with that person and saying oh that person has so much and i don't get inspiration from that person what kind of comparisons might actually be healthy for you there's a woman i know for example she's you know she's extraordinary she's very generous and she has a, a beautiful sense of style she's a beautiful daughter she's a loving mother and i tend to compare myself for example with her when i compare myself with her i need to draw inspiration from her and the moment you start drawing inspiration from all the comparisons that you are making in your life that is when you will truly start making a difference in your world in their world and everybody's world you want to say that you want to be more and more like them that is acceptable what inspires you to live better who inspires you to live better it matters these questions matter the most when you ask them the correct way spend your time in thinking all of, in thinking these thoughts think about them instead of asking a negative question a negative comparison think about the positive inspiration you can get right imagine if you could elevate the comparison game by using a very useful art that is inspiration you will stop falling prey to its dark thoughts which cause these misery Uh, uh miserable feelings in you which make you feel suppressed which make you feel sad which make you feel uh, you don't want uh, there's no happiness in your life right use this comparison to make yourself a better person and maybe even make this little corner of you and yourself your home and everybody around you of this big world a very better place when you start small it creates a difference not necessary you have to start big right all right moving on when we have feelings that we are comparing ourselves with others when you start comparing yourself with others it very easily pulls you in and when your feelings try and pull you in and say things like oh i have uh, you know you are smarter than me you're funnier than me i'm not prettier enough i'm not kinder enough you need to remind yourself one is that you can tell the person look at the image here it's so beautiful one person saying to the other awesome and the other person saying also awesome so say to yourself i am awesome and so are you because i am awesome and so are all of you here self comparing yourself with everybody around can very easily lead to self doubt and nobody is immune to self doubt everybody knows that nobody is immune to self doubt everybody in this world doubts themselves and it is very easy for us to do that right 
Everybody knows Van Gogh. He once said, if you hear a voice within you, you cannot paint, then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced. Chances are sometimes you get into this wrestling match with this little voice inside your head that chips away all the confidence you have, dials up all your doubts. What if I mess this thing up? What if I make a fool of myself? What will people say? You're just not smart enough. You're not talented enough. Oh, I cannot stand on the mic and I cannot give a speech. Oh, I cannot dance because I'm not a good dancer. Oh, I cannot wear this color because probably my skin color and the dress I'm wearing might not match. What will people say? Does everyone here who is over here be very honest when I ask you this question? Hum sabko ye khayal kitni baar aate hain? Aate hain, zarur aate hain and I want your answer. Have you had these thoughts for all the students as well? Yes, everybody says many times. So children, what do you do here? Everybody here. What do you do? Yes, such honest answers so many times. Absolutely. What do you do here? See, self-doubt is a part and parcel of your human experience. Everybody has to go through self-doubt. And you should go through self-doubt. Because some amount of self-doubt is very important. You need to doubt yourself a little and then probably see, oh, no, I'm doubting myself, but probably I should give it a try. I know it's difficult, but you should. Too much of self-doubt is not good. That's dangerous. You need to keep a check. There's this constant fear that, that fuels our doubts. It drives us on asking us to ask us these questions that say, oh, I cannot do this. I am not good enough. Right? There are so many. I see far too many capable and talented people around me who fear that they don't have or they don't want to do this because they don't have what it takes to succeed in life, probably. So doubt sets a triumph in your mind. Actions go undone. Why do that? Give yourself a chance, right? Nobody is immune to self-love as it very clearly states on your screen. We all have the ability to keep it from directing our decisions, from continuing our silence. We have self-doubt. Yes, happens with me. I doubt myself and I'm not able to forgive it. Yes, absolutely. Everybody doubts. What is important to your children is that do not let this doubt give a direction to your decision. Right? Now, there are certain tips we need to follow when we talk about self-doubt. Let's quickly see what tips can we follow, right? Tips to self-doubt. We look at three tips today. One, be aware of your inner critique. Every time you catch these inner feelings inside you, you need to shut them off. Say, no, 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 no. I am capable. Just because I'm thinking that I'm not able to do it, does not mean I'm not able to do it. Let me try it once. Let me try it twice, thrice, four times, five times. What is going to happen? I'm going to fail and that's fine. Everybody fails in life. Who doesn't? Do you agree? Everybody fails in life. And tell me one person who's not failed in life and achieved every single thing. Is that even possible? It's not. You have to fail in life in order to achieve something in life. So the first and the most important thing you need to keep in mind is to be aware of this inner critique. The second important thing is to identify your support system. Take a piece of paper right now. Write down the names of all the people that you think are your support system. Your mom, your biggest support system, your dad, right next to your mom. If you are lucky enough to have other family members in your life, who are as important to you as your parents, then them. I have my mom, I have my dad, I have my chachu, I have my youngest sibling, Anosh. I have these beautiful teachers around me who are my support system. I have these beautiful students who I come across every single day. They all are my support system. So you all need to take a paper right now, start writing now. Who is your support system? So that when something is triggering you, when you feel there's some kind of self-doubt, 
you can quickly reach to that particular person and say, you know, I need a little reassurance. Do you think I'm capable enough of doing this? And I'm sure the support system voice that is there is going to tell you, of course you are. Who said you aren't? Right? So write this down. Identify your support system. Make a nice big list. Create a list of affirmations and use them whenever you doubt yourself. Use statements that will remind you of your worth and the statements that will help you feel reassured and re-empowered. How? Statements like, I believe in myself. Yes, I can do this. Yes, the two most important things. I believe in myself and yes, I can do this. Right? Is everybody making a list? Let's see chat. Okay. Your best friends, your brothers, your siblings, your parents, your loved ones. Perfect. Very good. Great. All right. Now that we're talking about self-love, once you know that you already have this reassurance in you that yes, I can do it. What is the next step? Self-acceptance. We all have learned in maths, directly equivalent to, right? Directly proportionate to. Everybody's learned this, inversely proportional, directly proportional. We've all, we've all learned that in math. So when we talk about self-love and when we talk about self-acceptance, self-love is nothing but self-acceptance. When you accept yourself, true self-love comes to you. To everybody here, do you accept yourself? Everybody says, yeah, so what kind of a question is that? Do you accept myself? Probably I've never asked myself such a question. Do you accept yourself? True acceptance is embracing who you are without any qualification, without any condition or any expectation. That is what self-expectation is. You don't need to self-accept yourself after saying that, oh, you know, when I complete my post-graduation, probably from Harvard, that is when I'm going to self-accept myself. No, I accept myself before getting into Harvard. Conditions. When I lose weight and when I look prettier, when I'm this particular size, I'm going to love myself. I'm going to, because I'm going to accept myself after that. Is that required? No, acceptance comes right now. The way you look, the way you are, accept that. If you are walking on a path of being more healthy, you want yourself to be more healthy and then you want to end up losing weight and look good, look healthier, that is also self-acceptance. That is a good part of self-acceptance. But when you don't want to accept yourself because you don't like the way you look, because you want to lose weight and look like somebody else, that is wrong. You're not accepting yourself, right? These conditions are not, these conditions do not lead you towards the path of self-love. Our expectations, our parents, our, the society, our friends, everybody who we live around have so many expectations from us. You do not have to accept yourself after you stand true to all those expectations around. You can accept yourself the way you are and then probably try and reach out and see whether it's possible for you to fulfill those expectations, right? Okay. Yes, children, do you accept yourself? If not until now, I hope you will accept yourself after the session. And self-acceptance is exactly what the name suggests. It's, it's the state of this, this complete acceptance of oneself. True acceptance is embracing who you are without any qualifications, conditions and expectations. That's how very simply it is put up. However, what we do know is when there is a lack of self-acceptance in us, it lowers our levels down. Is that true? Lack of self Acceptance lowers your level down, lowers your well-being, lowers your mental health. If low self-acceptance causes mental illness, 
and low levels of well-being, it stands to reason that higher self-respect or higher self-acceptance can act as a protective measure and a factor against these negative experiences. If you're having these negative experiences that, oh, you know, I think I have a mental health problem because I feel very low. It's because you're not accepting yourself. You do not want to accept yourself. You have these negative experiences around you because you're not accepting yourself. Just the idea of you saying that I accept myself can lay a foundation for such a positive atmosphere around you. It is such a therapy when you start accepting yourself because it drives everything within you. When you accept yourself for who you truly are, it becomes, very, it becomes a very driven force, a very positively driven force inside you. And then that motivates you to do everything in life. Right? Let's look at how you can achieve self-acceptance. First, I feel a new exciting beginning in the relationship with myself. This is an affirmation you are giving me. Let's look at five affirmations. Say this for yourself. I feel a new exciting beginning today and I want to start a very new beautiful relationship with myself. Right? Second. I accept myself unconditionally right now. However, I am I'm fat, I am thin, I am uh, not good in studies, I am great in studies, I am, um, I, you know, I do not have a proper planned future or probably, you know, I, I'm, I'm very lazy. The way you are, I accept myself unconditionally. And I am very happy the way I am. Right? Yes, everybody? Third. I love the person I am as well as the person I'm becoming. See, if, for everybody, change is a part of their life. For all of us, for you, for me, for everybody around, change is something that is constantly going to be there. We need to keep changing ourselves. We need to be a better person. So the person I am right now, I love that person. And I'm also the person I am becoming because I'm constantly changing and I'm changing for good I am not changing because I do not like something about me I am changing because I just want to be a better version of myself next affirmation I accept all the mistakes I have made in my life and I forgive myself for them provided I know I'm forgiving myself because I do not want to repeat a mistake that makes me feel so bad, right? I accept all the mistakes I have made in my life and I forgive myself for them. I have so many comments that say that, you know, sometimes we self-doubt ourselves and I cannot forgive myself. I can see these comments right now. You need to because unless you forgive and forget, you cannot move forward. You forgive and you forget for good, not for something you're going to repeat again in life. Right? I bring consciousness instead of judgment to myself. I consciously think who I am, what I am, what I do, what are my capabilities, what are my abilities. I consciously bring all of these thoughts to myself. I keep telling myself, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. I don't judge myself. Judging is a very negative flow that you can send in through your body for yourself. Be conscious. That is more important, right? Self-acceptance, done. Now that we have already accepted ourselves, have we? Have we accepted ourselves, children? Yes? Yes, perfect. All right. Can I see a smile on your faces now that you have accepted yourself? Lovely, so good. Perfect, all right. Now that you've accepted yourself, because I can see so many yeses and I hope all of you are writing a yes. Now that you have accepted yourself, what is the next thing? It is the most interesting part of self-love. And that part is self-care. Because you need to pamper yourself and everybody loves doing that. Probably pampering is painting your nails, 
probably pampering is telling your mom to put nice oil, hot oil in your head and giving you a nice head massage. Probably pampering is listening to nice loud music. Probably pampering is giving yourself one hour free from all the studies and just dancing. Close the door, stand in front of the mirror and dance. Nobody is watching. Your steps need not be perfect. Do any kind of dance. Right? All of this is self-care. Okay? Everybody has their own sense of self-care. It differs to a lot of people. Self-care for everybody is different. Now, if I may ask all of you, do you ever forget to take care of yourself? Do you ever forget to take care of yourself? No, you don't. Because I do. I do forget. I do tend to not take care of myself at times. And why does that happen? It happens with all of you too. Why? You all are too busy studying, probably. You all are too busy with your classes. You all are too busy now that we are all home quarantined. Too busy helping your family. Too busy helping your siblings, right? Helping your mom in the kitchen. There are so many things around. You are busy all the time. Finding time for yourself is very difficult and it's very, very hard. I know everybody is busy and finding that one proper time is very hard. But if you don't do that, it won't be long before we have this exhaustion. We have this mental fog saying, oh my God, I'm mentally really tired. I don't want to study anymore. I don't want to help you anymore. I don't want to work anymore. That stage is going to come very quick. So irrespective of you getting time or not, you need to find time for yourself. It's very important for us to find time for ourselves, right? And when these kind of mental faults start coming in your mind, it is a very harsh reminder your body is giving you that self-care isn't something you do just once and say, oh, done, I have pampered myself today, I'm done for two months, ticked off. You can't do that. Self-love is something, self-care is something which is supposed to be a constant repetition of these tiny habits you do. Self-love is you going for a jog every morning. Self-care is going for a jog every morning. Self-care is you meditating for 15 minutes or say half an hour, how much ever you want to. These tiny habits which you have to incorporate in your life on an everyday constant basis, which soothe you, which, which make sure you are at your optimum, say physically, emotionally, mentally. When all of these actions and tiny habits constant repetition of these habits are there in your life, that is when you're practicing self-care. Not that one time when you put nail paint and you're feeling so good about yourself and you're like, oh, done, self-care done. That's not one day of self-care. You have to do a constant process. Not that you can paint your nails every single day. That's not very good though. But you know what I mean. When we talk about physical, emotional and mental stability, and when we talk about self-care, we talk about these tiny habits which we need to inculcate in our lives. Right? Alright. There are a few self-care habits here. And I want you all to choose one right now. These self-care habits are here and I want you all to choose one habit right now that says Say probably I'm going to drink herbal tea every single day or I'm going to eat good right food, say salads and good food which are going to be nice and good for my body, say once every day, say probably for dinner every day, right? Yes, you can choose workout. People are choosing paint and make, lovely, read a book, sleep, yes, sleep. I can see kids writing sleep, sleep is important. You cannot sleep for just four hours or three hours. You cannot do that. You need to sleep for say seven, seven and a half hours. You need to get that sleep. You need to take a break. Yes, you do. You need to organize. You need to work out. Yes, absolutely. Write a poetry. That would be great. Perfect. There are so many things you do when we talk about self-care. You can clean, you can write, meditate, all of these things. You should try all of these, not just one, not just two. Try doing all of these in your life and see what difference it makes. Because you need to take time out for yourself. If you do not take time out for yourself, all that you're studying or all that you're working, 
you are going to get in a very flux situation later. There, you, you, there are times when a person says, oh, it's a dead end. I cannot, you know, I cannot do any more than this. Nobody wants to reach that stage. Do you want to reach that stage? No, you don't. And for you to not reach that stage, where, what do you have to do? Take time out for yourself. Make sure you feel alive. Make sure you feel happy. You want to live your life on your terms in a good way by taking care of yourself. Right? Great. Perfect. Make and paint. Take a break. Lovely. Beautiful ideas. All right. Now that we already are aware that how important self-care is, let's come to the end of our session today where we talk about self-love affirmations. Now for everybody present here, I want you all to sit properly, sit straight, back straight. Everybody, up, up, up. Right now. I want you all to close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. No writing down any comments right now because I'm asking you to close your eyes. Everybody on the portal, please. Close your eyes. Everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Close your eyes. Ayushi, I cannot see your eyes closed. Bharat, come on, come on. Eyes closed, everybody. Okay. Just listen to what I'm saying and just follow. Bring your awareness to your breathing. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Breathe out again. Do not manipulate. A natural flow of your breathing in and out, in and out. Let a natural flow come in. Get your awareness to your heart. Put a hand on your heart. Everybody, hand on your heart. Keep breathing. Come on, Kartik, Vivit. And repeat after me. I, I should hear everybody repeat after me. I love myself just as I am. I love myself just as I am. And be loud. You should be able to hear yourself. Be loud, everyone. Arnav, come on. I, I love myself just as I am. I am enough. In all of my forms, daughter, son, sister, brother, friend, A student, a teacher, a writer, a traveler, a wife, a husband. I am good enough. I am talented enough. I am very confident of myself. Come on, meet. I am very confident of myself. I am kind. I seek knowledge. I show compassion towards everybody around me. I fail. I get back up. I am perfectly imperfect. I know who I am and what I stand for. I know what I can change. And I don't know what I can change at all. I can never know what I can change at all. And I admit when I don't know that I cannot change it. I know how to forgive. I forgive myself. I am enough. Lovely, beautiful. Open your eyes. Something you need to keep telling yourself every single day. You need to keep telling all of these things to yourself every single day. You need to tell yourself, I'm enough. You need to tell yourself, I, am, I, ha I have straight C's. I'm, I'm not a topper. I don't have all straight A's, but I'm fine. I am enough. I'm probably getting all these C's here because I'm probably good at something else. There's a possibility that the person who's coming first in class is not very good at, say, art, but you are. 
there's a possibility you are a better writer there's a possibility you are a better singer there's a possibility you are better than a lot more things than that person is don't compare yourself accept yourself don't doubt yourself and keep a very strong habit in you to reaffirm every single day of who you are and what you feel right this is a self love mirror stand in front of your mirror every single day say it's okay to love myself i am not selfish i love myself how am i selfish i believe in myself and my abilities probably i'm getting a c now but i think i'm capable of getting a b so i believe in my ability i am doing the best i can and if i do not doing the best i can if i know i'm not doing the best i can probably i will do from now on i will do my best i will give my best to every single thing to every single experience that comes i acknowledge my own self worth i know i'm worthy of something and i know it right these are self love notes if you have a paper and pen next to you i want you all to write this down dear me thank you for and take good amount of time think about this thank you for what what do you want to thank yourself for dear me i am proud that what are you proud of what do what you want to thank yourself for dear me i am i forgive that for what are you proud of what what are you proud yourself for you are forgiving yourself for what what have you done write this down dear me i love how you what do you do that you love right write this down everybody this is a very good exercise for everybody to do beautiful self reminders now that we're coming to the very end of our session i am in the process of becoming the best version of myself repeat after me children everybody please repeat after me i am in the process of becoming the best version of myself i am grateful to be alive and living in this wonderful day my courage is so strong than my self doubt i am worthy and i believe in myself i believe in what i can do i can achieve what i am thinking i want to what i have dreamt of i can definitely achieve that and last what am i growing all of these things are inside you choose to i want all of you to choose to and write it down in the chat box what am i growing what are you growing to right now what are these write down two two yes i need to love and acceptance beautiful combination peace and joy very important trust and love joy and trust for me i choose peace i'm growing peace inside me right now and i choose abundance i choose abundance of every single thing joy and abundance so many of you writing joy and love absolutely so this was a passing giveaway for you all for you to choose what you want to grow within you because now that we've gone through the entire session of self love we know how to embrace yourself how to love oneself how can you do that who has the power to do that you yourself have the power to do that for me i have the power for you you have the power right for you to grow as a person as an individual the power is in your hand you need to love yourself you need to accept yourself and then we all today if you haven't yet if you are on the path of self love beautiful if you want until now we all are now on this beautiful journey of self love where you will discover so much about yourself in life thank you so much everybody for attending today's session if there are any more questions we i would love to answer your questions so the chat room is open for you all and uh, you can ask questions thank you everybody thank you 
जय गुरुदेव थैंक यू जय गुरुदेव यासमीन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस वंडरफुल सेशन ऑफ सेल्फ लव इट्स अ टॉपिक दैट वी ऑल लव एंड कनेक्ट विथ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग एंड यू आर सो मच फील्ड ऑफ योर ओन सेल्फ लव सेल्फ लव एट दी एंड आई वुड लवली लव टू से दैट इट्स नॉट अबाउट बींग सेल्फिश टू वर्ड्स योर सेल्फ बट इट्स अबाउट बींग सेल्फलेस इट्स अबाउट बींग सेल्फलेस to love yourself is to completely understand yourself and when you understand yourself you will make a path with all challenges in life it's not about letting go of relationships that we can't accept and tolerate but we will expand our accept absolutely joy thank you so much thank you everybody jagradev thank you so much